Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 9.7. Given this long equation we are asked to find V or the voltage right which is represented by the variable V. So now this is in the time domain and it would be tedious to actually solve this using uh, normal mathematics. So what you're going to basically do is to transform this into its complex equivalent right. So to do that, I'm just going to remind you that if you have, if you want to differentiate something, so d over dt corresponds with uh, jw and the variable which you want to differentiate. So let's say x. So that will be a variable. But if you want to integrate, then in the complex form, this is what you basically have. You're going to have your variable at the at the top and jw at the bottom so this is basically all we're going to do in this question and this is going to lead us to the final answer so just have this in mind if you want to differentiate a certain variable let's say x then you're going to say jwx in the complex domain and if you want to integrate you're going to say x that variable divided by jw so wherever we see dv of dt you're basically going to have jwv wherever we see an integral we're going to have v because we're dealing with the variable v here. In this case, you're going to have v divided by jw. So let's proceed. Here we have 2 dv over dt, which means we apply this here. So we're going to have 2 jwv plus 5v, which is that. Just take it as it, as it is. Then plus v is being integrated over here. So we're going to have v divided by jw. As equals to, and then we can transform this into its uh, polar form phasor, which is going to be 50 with an angle of negative 30 degrees, right? So that is that. So now we are asked to solve, which means the only variable which we should have in our equation is V. We now have two variables, which is our omega W and V. But from this sinusoid over here, this is the place where we expect to find our omega or our w, right? So this will be substituted everywhere where we see omega. So this is where we see omega, that is where we see omega, and so let's substitute. So we're going to have 2j, 5v plus 5v plus 10v divided by j, 5 is equal to 50 with an angle of negative 30 degrees. And our aim is now to find v, and v is now the only variable in our equation, so let's proceed. So you can start here by just dividing this. You have 2 over there, right, because 5 into 10 is 2, so we have that over there. Now 2 times uh, 5 is 10, so you have uh, j10v plus 5v plus uh, 2. Now 1 over j, just a reminder, 1 over j is equal to negative j. So we have v over j, so it's going to be negative j 2v then we have equals to 50 with an angle of negative 30 degrees so now let's uh, make sure that we have the v's on one side and the constants on the other side so this is basically what we have so we're just going to group the like terms and say this is uh, j 10 v subtract that is going to be 5 plus the result is going to be something like this and the common factor is v which is going to be equals to 50 an angle of negative 30 right so we're going to divide both sides by 5j8 by that side by 5 plus j8 right and this will cancel out which means we're left with just v on this side so now all we have to do is just punch this into our calculator and to do that you just say 50 50 shift uh the angle thing negative 30 then divide by 5 plus 8i, right? So that is that. So equals to, and now what you're basically going to do is transform this into polar form, so you can then transform it into its equivalent uh, sinusoid. So now in polar form, the answer to that is uh, 5.3 with an angle of negative 88, right? So the result is 5.3 with an angle of negative 88 degrees. So now the corresponding sinusoid is 5.3 cos taking the same 5 which you found in the question. So 5t 
negative 88 degrees and that is your voltage